Hi guys, Alan here, AF Golf Store. So today we're gonna to review the TSI range from Titleist. I've got the two and the three model. Um, currently we've got them in our demo stock. We're waiting for TSI one, TSI four, so I haven't got a chance to test those. Um, but we're gonna have a go with these two. Let's see how we get on. So TSI two and three models were released uh, last October, last November. Um, the range is fantastic. Um, we saw some real good gains last year um, in both models actually. TSI three offers the slightly lower spinning model versus TSI two. Um, you've got the weight track at the back that is able to move it into uh, fade and draw bias. And you've got the weight in the TSI two, which is right at the back, which we can change the head weight on. Um, the look on TSI 3 is a little bit more like the old style 975 range from a few years back. It sits a little bit deeper in the face behind the ball, looks fantastic. TSI 2, a little bit longer in the, um, the toe to the heel. Um, it hits great, um, looks great, looks really simple behind the ball, classic tight list. Um, so let's have a look at the, look at the numbers. So numbers for me, um, I hit TSI 3 this time. Um, main reason being is I spin the ball quite a lot. Um, speed managed to drop, jump up a little bit. I got the speed up to 117 club head speed, which is pretty good for me at the minute. Um, but we got some serious ball speed out of it. We're, we're at 170. So similar to last week when we tested Sim 2, um, but what I noticed is the, the, the spin dropped. So we're about five or 600 revs lower than Sim 2, um, even in the lowest spin. So really good for me, um, helped me gain a little bit more carry, a little bit more roll out. So TSI 3 definitely is the model that I would be wanting to play. The noise off the face is solid. It's a really, really classic tightless driver. Um, offers a real solid hit. There's no real tin to it. Um, really makes you feel like you've actually got a good one out the middle. Um, TSI 2, not a driver that I'm particularly gonna use, although I can see where it's gonna fit in our custom fit spectrum. Um, it's gonna affect a lot of good players. Um, it just gives you so many options. And the lovely thing about both of these models is the ability to change the head weight. So we can add weight, we can take weight out to really make sure that we're dialing in the head for the player in front of us. Okay, so this year from Titleist, they've got um, a, quite a range of shaft options, actually. Um, there's some low spin options in there, some slightly softer tipped options. And then down at the bottom here, we've got two, which are the new premium shafts. So they've got the Tor ADI shafts in there, which are in their premium heads. A little bit more money, um, but offer something a little bit special um, in the performance of the shafts. So all in all, tight list TSI range for this year um, is gonna be really up there as a competitor for a new driver. I think the Fairway Woods, when we review them in a few weeks time, will be up there as well. Um, it's definitely gonna be in the mix every time we put a custom fit in. Um, what I would say is it'd be interesting to see TSI 1, TSI 4, which adds to this range, which adds us a, a slower swing speed model and a, and a real low spin model with TSI 4. Um, so it's definitely gonna be an interesting range of product that they've got. Um, let's see how it performs. See you soon.